Yeah, Technexion here at Computex 2017, and uh, who are you? Uh, hello, I'm Thomas from Technexion marketing team, and I show you around what we have new and exciting. So this is the Android Things platform. I mean, it can run Android Things, and yes. Google had this on stage for Google I.O. Exactly the same module. The module is from Technexion. It's based on ARM. So this architecture, yeah, and it's uh, exactly the processor. It's uh, NXP IMX7 Dual. So right here, you're talking about it. Uh, this is the Pico IMX7. Exactly. So that's our latest module, and that's the reference platform for Android things. And you are the reference platform. You making it? You making exactly. the ARM? Android things. things. Yes. Android that's is for ARM, is not for Intel. I'm joking, but yeah, it's true. It's, true. it's true. In a way, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, what, 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 what are you showing here? Yeah, here we have a uh, few products that show you where our products can be applied. And actually, the IoT market is vast and very, very diverse. Let's start maybe from first home environment. So it's you for can, the home environment right yes, here? Yes, exactly. And you will see more and more stuff that is connected. And you will also have the power to control all your things at home from your smartphone, So the laptop, idea, maybe tablet. as far as I understand, the idea a little bit with the, with the Android things is uh, it's kind of like a higher performance, higher functionality IoT. Yes. It's not just a small microcontroller. It's an ARM Cortex... It's a higher, higher, uh, it's an A7, right? Yes. Yeah. And with the M4 also. Uh, so, Technexion, what is your job in this industry? Uh, we design and manufacture in house uh, modules, systems, uh, box PCs, and uh, HMIs. And, and also we are kind of uh, ARM specialists. We've been doing it for more than 10 years, so really. Very, very experienced. And here is uh, this also your design? Yes, it's a uh, Pico Pi. So it's one of the latest our uh, base ports. And this for one the plugs Picos. in? It's, yeah, everything is uh, pin to pin compatible. You can see it here, and you need, Just, yeah. yeah. Here, right here you need also screws to yeah. fix it, but yeah, and then there is another uh, part on it. You can see this tiny module. It's is it for a wireless, exactly. Connectivity for wireless connectivity. You also work on that one? You yeah, and it supports uh, Bluetooth, Zigbee, and FRED. So multi-protocol. All right. And this is cool because it's extremely power efficient. So. It Actually, you can power it by battery and you can use it for years or so, even longer. So those three things together, it's kind of like the kit, right? Yeah, that's the kit. There's also a display? Yes, we also have a five inch display. I will show you later. All right. Uh -huh. And uh, actually Google, uh, they were they were uh, giving these out at the Google I.O. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Two weeks ago at Google I.O., all those uh, Android things developers who were there, they had the chance to visit the kiosk to play around and to get one of all with them home. So I'm sure now many guys in, in the industry are busy with this stuff. And it's just and they starting. have fun, I yeah. Mean, it was Brillo before, now it's called Android Things, but it's still just starting, but it could go very fast. It's Google. Yes, yes. Maybe it will yes, go very fast. Yes, it could be. Uh, you, you will see it will be like an earthquake. But let's, let's walk around because actually uh, we'll be right back. But yeah. uh, over here. Uh, you have it running uh, Ubuntu? Yes, uh, that's a different base port, but uh, quite similar uh, features. It's the same little module here, right? Yes, exactly. So also you can... IMX7. So it runs all these stuff, Yocto, uh -huh. Ubuntu, Android things, or Android. Android and, and Linux. This is Ubuntu. So it's powerful enough to do lots of stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. It's a multifunctional system. All right, and let's check, check your wall. You have yeah, more let, stuff? Let's get back to the story because most uh, 
users will be surprised that uh, IoT is now going to be everywhere and in some places it's already there. So let's see at the next picture, it's office environment. So you will see a lot of machines that are interconnected. Before it were just pure, uh, let's say, printer copy machines, but now lights, for example, access control, vending machine, everything it's becoming interconnecting at, at the heart of this technology are those tiny modules. What, uh, what is this one? Like a screen? Uh, yes, yeah, screen and it's, it's like a reception desk and uh, you can uh, book meeting, you check can in. check in, you can, uh, let's say, swipe your card what, before you had to swipe your and card. And what are you showing here? This is... Uh, you can do anything. Other solutions? You do, you do stuff with the uh, iMX6 also, UL, right? Yeah, exactly. All, all uh, flavors of iMX6 we have uh, on offer. That's also a Cortex A7, but it's a single, single yes, core. Yes, it's single core. And the other we one is dual core. Dual plus core, and we have quad core, so all right. versions. And what is this are there. scenario? Yeah, this is uh, outdoors. Uh, let's say you go on a trip uh, and you need to buy something, and there is vending machine and. Uh, also, IoT is inside, and then maybe you don't need even cash, and uh, you will find your language, you will find everything you need, information, services, beverages, whatever you can think of. Cool. What are you sharing with the screens? Yeah, these are uh, examples of another application uh, field that uh, when we talk about uh, industrial automation, factory automation, there are a lot, of, a lot of systems that are behind it. And as you can see here, it can be either full system like this Box PC text free series. It can be just tiny module. Pico IMX6 POP. It could be one of those uh, bigger form factor uh, ADM series modules or one of those tiny wireless communication modules like Pixie 41Z. So uh, when, you, when you talk about the Pico uh, like this form factor, that can be even smaller? Uh, or is that the smallest? That's the smallest when, uh, module of course, in uh, the world. For this. Yeah, because uh, we have to squeeze in here yeah. processor. Uh, which, as you can see, those processors are not that tiny. Then, PMIC, then Wi-Fi. Can you point to the different parts? Yes, uh, like processor is here, then DRAM, PMIC, Wi-Fi, yep. storage, even storage. Here, uh, this one, uh, actually, we use uh, micro SD card slot. But if it's EMMC, then you need another uh, IC. Yeah. So it's uh, roughly, yeah, as you can see, the space is really squeezed. There is no empty space. This design, is this your invention, the company, or...? Oh, uh, yes, yes. That, that one, it's our... Factor. Yes, that form factor Pico, what we call Pico, it's our own, so own form factor. So that Pico will go in all these places. They will just plug in the Pico all over the yes, world. Yes, yes, all of those... But this can change. Uh, yes, this is baseboard and we have different uh, form factors. This is kind of like development board kind of? Exactly. But exactly. you can have all kinds of shapes with this. Yes. And you, yes. you work with companies to make different ones. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, we develop for customers some special versions. Sometimes customers will develop. And as always, Technician it's open source. So we welcome customers to do their own uh, and if we look at here, uh, Designs. those connectors, what is the technology that you use for connecting that Pico to the board? Those three three connectors, mm -hmm. uh, what is that? It's and is this uh, the same speed as being on the PCB? Yes, yes. We always use board-to-board uh, -board connectors and it's Edison. It's the same as uh, Intel so standard. So, and we have two more connectors for extensions so actually there are a lot of more signals than from just single edison connector 
All right, and you can run stuff all off the SD card? Yeah. It's fast enough? Yeah, it is. So you can uh, opt for uh, eMMC version or SD card. Uh, even we have more versions. Uh, we have also NAND. And so different storage yes, capacity? Yes, 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 yes. All storage capacities you can think of. What's the price? Uh, the price, a good question. Uh, it's for sale? Depend, yeah, it it's, already, it's already yeah. for the sale. Package, so, uh, the package let's is say, actually on Google's website. They link to the store, right? Yeah, yeah. If you want to buy uh, a whole kit, uh, including uh, antenna, camera module, yeah. LCD, then it's uh, like, uh, if, I think it's 169 US dollars, whole development kit. If you only want those two? Oh, then uh, $79. $79. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then you have some other, uh, you're talking about here about uh, agriculture. Exactly. That's another new field that is booming that uh, you can see first for uh, agriculture machinery that you can make a better use, adjust quickly to climate, weather and so on and so on. Another thing is to the stock control. So like here on the picture you can see sheep. You had a small bracelet with a uh, pixie right. wireless module and uh, you can uh, control where the ships are, where they are going, where they were before. So oh. you, lot, you know much more when you did before and just one person can control many, many things. So and what it's is very this one efficient. Talk about? Yeah, and that's the, the future of uh, car industry and transportation. And uh, slowly everything goes electric and uh, you then will you will need to charge uh, your car, maybe a shared car. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then uh, you need a charger and charger will need to identify you or your car. Yeah. And then you will need uh, one of those modules or uh, maybe even a box PC to do the computing. So you have some box PCs you're also showing? Yeah, them? yeah, we have over there. And what do you call them? Tech? Tech series, yes. What does the tech mean? It's just a name. It's uh, just a name, yeah. And uh, it's a very nice feature is that uh, the IOs are... Yeah. IOs are uh, modular, so actually we have a set of IOs which you can see over there on this poster. Yeah. And off the shelf, customer can customize his or her box PC. Those are IOs that are in there. Uh, that uh, we can change anytime. If you want one of them, power, uh, networking, can pass, G GPIO, we, we can change a different set. So you need more GPIOs, we deliver more GPIOs. So you can pick up whatever signals you need, what controllers are more important to you than, than we add. So there's a... Uh, what do they do? This these? is for uh, for power, 24 uh, voltage, we have uh, 12 voltage, we have white power, so we have PoE, power over uh, Ethernet, so a, a lot of options, so it it's offers a great flexibility. You call it box PC? Yeah, box uh, PC? yeah let's say box PC, that there is a box. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah and you some can uh, see. type C that you can have. Yeah, that's, uh, this uh, side is for the operator, so you have LEDs that can be programmable, so can display whatever customer needs, and then micro SD card, and yeah. SIM card. SIM yeah. card as well, yeah, exactly. And, uh, and two what is, buttons. What is this stuff here? But this is another series of our modules, so, but this is based on an open form factor in this for industrial modules, it's called EDM. EDM, so it's not our own form factor. These modules are uh, bigger. They use those, uh, here also a 314 pin connector. And uh, as you see, there are many pins and uh, a lot of signals. So, and here also with much more space, so we can add more components. Who made the EDM? 
Uh, is it in industry standard? Yeah, it's independent. It's like organization. So it's industry standard, exactly. So we are one of the founded members. There are other companies that are involved are, are in it. Are you uh, turning Pico into an industrial standard too? Oh, uh, we are trying. <laughs> we are trying. trying, yeah. Right now it's a technician standard. Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we will see. All right. And you have uh, more stuff over here. Uh, yes. So for uh, for uh, some of those carrier boards, we also have uh, housing, as you can see. So it gives customer better flexibility how they build it up in, into existing and devices or uh, if uh, they need to pile them up one on another. So there are many options they can do with them and they don't need to spend uh, time and money on, on, on housing. All right. Yeah, and as you see, it's a fully functional uh, system and it's very tiny. It's like two packs of cigarettes. Roughly and in size. there would be what? Uh, in there, there will be this, uh, this Port and uh, modules of the system based on Pico name. Right. So you, you connect the Pico right here? Yeah, exactly. You can see the same connectors. All right. Uh, so, in, in general, Technexion has been around for a while. Yeah, doing quite lots a long. of yeah. lots of projects. Yeah. And uh, busy uh, around the world with customers, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have customers all around the world. Uh, actually, because uh, we have a lot of customers in different industries and you would be surprised that around 400 million users, they depend on Technician technology. 400 million? 400 million. So many devices and so many people get in touch daily with, with our devices. But most people will not recognize because we are the heart, the brain, right? But the end devices look different, it's bigger machine, maybe it's at the airport, the gate, maybe it's a, it's a MRT vending machine, maybe it's a vending machine selling drinks, so many, many different uh, machines, devices, they, they are uh, based on Technician. Nice, 400 million, that's pretty good. Okay, yeah. 7 billion, so you have a way yeah, to Yeah, yeah, we, we have a way to go. We, and, we have to... And everybody who interacts with technology, and technology need to interact more yeah. with it. Yeah. 10 times more. Yeah. Right? So there's yeah. a lot of future growth happening. Yeah, yeah, there, there is. And uh, as I said, uh, IoT is going to be everywhere. And uh, then you will see technician everywhere as well. Precise.